As Kid of Kid and Play once noted, Nixon did have a way with tape. It's time for Cool Weird Awesome, where we've got more rhymes than Richard Nixon. I'm Brady. It's Tuesday, January 9th. Today in 1913 was the birthday of the 37th president of the United States. He was also vice president, U.S. senator, U.S. representative, lawyer, author, Navy veteran, and once during the Watergate scandal, an unindicted co-conspirator. But all that aside, Richard Nixon also once wanted to be a rapper. That comes from the Washington Post, so I'm not just making anything up here. That said, we probably should back up a bit. Nixon was a capable musician who learned a number of instruments as a kid. Mostly, he was a piano player. In 1963, the then-former vice president appeared on TV's Jack Parr program to play his own composition. It was called, what else, Richard Nixon Piano Concerto No. 1. As President Nixon brought a White House piano as a gift for Harry Truman's presidential library in Independence, Missouri, he then paid tribute to his predecessor by playing the Missouri Waltz. Truman actually didn't like that song, and for that matter, he didn't care much for Nixon either, but by then his hearing was going, so not a big deal. President Nixon also hosted the great singer Pearl Bailey at the White House, playing piano while she sang several songs. He even performed God Bless America once in 1974 at the Grand Old Opry. Later that year, Nixon became the first president to resign, just as Congress was preparing to impeach and remove him from office. While he spent the rest of his life largely defending his conduct and his record, it's clear that Nixon had at least a few regrets. In 1990, there were multiple news reports about an audio clip from one of Nixon's many recordings of his thoughts and memories. In that clip, President Richard Nixon said, quote, I have often thought that if there had been a good rap group around in those days, I might have chosen a career in music instead of politics. What could have been? You can learn more about Richard Nixon and his dreams of rap stardom at CoolWeirdAwesome.com. We've got another musical Nixon moment for you. That's right after this short break. Welcome back. Perhaps the only connection stranger than Richard Nixon and rap music is the connection between Richard Nixon and Hazel Atkins, known as the Hayes and the wild man of rock and roll. Atkins was, to say the least, a very eccentric outsider musician who said he'd sent out thousands of records and cassettes hoping to get a record contract. In 1970, one of those recordings got to the White House, and President Nixon wrote Hazel Atkins to say, quote, I am very pleased by your thoughtfulness in bringing these particular selections to my attention. I'm Brady, so there's another way to mark Nixon's birthday. Thanks for listening, and come back again tomorrow for more Cool Weird Awesome. Another helpful Brady Carlson project.